rather you don't sing that. No, 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 I don't want to fall dead. You fall dead. Welcome everybody to the Falcon One Shot. On the agenda we have Wick here today, which is a really interesting little horror title in the sense that it actually uses a bunch of different elements from horror games and mixes them pretty well. You begin at midnight and you want to survive all the way up to 6 a.m. when your friends are coming in to let you out of this area that they've locked you in. They're not terrible people, but it's more of an urban legend type of game where allegedly the story is that a few kids and their parents were burned down in some house. So the urban legend is that, you know, if you wander here at midnight, they're going to get you. So what you want to do in this game to survive is that every single hour, you want to make it to the end of the hour with enough light to make it the next hour over. Now, when you do this, you're going to be looking for clues at the same time because the game takes place in present time, which is when you're playing, and also a bit in the future after your little um, shindig in the woods. 11.45 p.m. Teenagers enter woods. One is blindfolded. They are playing Wick. Claim missing children haunt the woods and can be seen by candlelight. And again, this is all kind of like taking place in the future. In a sense, the story portion is seen through the police officer who's over here collecting evidence trying to figure out what exactly happened to you. Yeah. I've heard the story. No, it's true. It was a long time ago. The house burned down. The parents died, but their kids' bodies were never found. Dun, dun, dun. Guys, stop. You're creeping me out. Don't worry. I'll protect you. I'm serious. Get a broom. Those kids used to play in these woods, but one by one, they disappeared. People used to come up here and leave stuff in case the kids were still alive. They left candles burning. But the candles moved in the Stop night. Stop it! Nobody would let their kids come up here after that. Like that guy last year? Like he didn't just skip town or something? Don't tell me you're buying this. No. I know one of the kids he was with. They were up here playing Wick too. For real? Would you calm down? What was that? Someone's out there. Can we go back now? Quiet. Please? We're here. Don't take the blindfold off until we're gone. Good luck. See you at 6 a.m. If you live... <laughs> Teenagers leave friend blindfold and lock the gate. They plan to return at 6 a.m. Personal effects collected, game rules, and backpack contents entered into evidence. And again, the content of evidence that we're talking about here is what you'll actually find as you try to survive the night. Alrighty, and this is our cue to actually get underway over here. So, um, I normally try to keep uh, commentary a bit minimal when it comes to these horror games, but I will try to explain these a little bit quickly and then get out of the way here. So. First and foremost, you want to pick up all these um, drawings. It'll kind of give you an idea as to how to survive here for one, but also it'll give you an idea as to what the story is going to be after you're dead over here and you actually have to go check out the evidence room itself. So don't think, run. Really good piece of advice here. Normally with horror games when you have all these creepy crawlies running around, you try to figure out how to get around them like there's like some sort of clue, but no, no, just run and you should be fine for the most part. So our goal is number one, survive the hour. Number two, try to get evidence so we actually piece the story together here. So right now we have... It's for when the bandages come off. Piece of evidence number one. For when the bandages come off. That's pleasant to hear. Now as you're wandering around over here, you should be able to see some little lights off in the distance. They also indicate the candle lights for you. So you can transfer your candlelight flame to another one when this is actually nearing down. And if you run out of a candlelight, you could actually use a match to kind of keep yourself afloat here for a while, but it's not going to help out too much. Is that some humming going on? Oh, God. We have another landmark over here, too. So, we'll try to approach it. Right now, we have to collect three pieces of the... There's some of the jumpscares that I talked about. So our goal right now is to just survive the hour, but if we want to do a bit better, is also try to find the evidence so we piece the story together here. So I think we already got one piece. I think there's three in each hour. So right now we want to find two more pieces of evidence and then survive the hour. If I die, I think we'll wrap up the video there. I'm going to try to survive this hour though so we get into video or not video two, but hour number two, which will actually introduce a new creepy crawly. But that's all going to be based on the fact if I could survive this because my heart is not the strongest heart out there and I'm a slight bit of a coward, I will admit. So I am seeing some candle lights all the way out there. I also hear this kid groaning at me. Now is it just me? I'm not sure when they drop from the, the, the trees you'll notice, but don't they kind of remind you a bit of Skull Kids from like Legend of Zelda? Like every time I see them I'm thinking like, is this a Skull Kid? Like, this would be the Skull Kid if they actually wanted you dead for legit purposes, you know? Okay. Fine so far. 
Now, my candlelight isn't really long for this world. I gotta find... I think there's one down here. Now, be careful what you're running, because this guy has the worst goddamn stamina imaginable. Like, this guy has never done cardio in his entire life. And a... <sighs> He's after me. So, if you get caught without stamina, they're gonna catch up and kill you. Is he still after me? I don't think he is. Okay, good. So we got a candlelight, and that's a piece of evidence right there. I've never collected that one before, so I'm interested to see what that's all about. I'm coming, honey buddy. There was like a baby down that well, just crying right now. I'm not sure if you guys heard that. I'll try to pump up the audio so you can't hear it. Okay, but yeah, as I was saying, make sure you conserve your stamina well. Like, only run when you really have to, because when these things show up, you need to run. And if you can't outrun them, you're gonna die. And this guy apparently is just goddamn either. He's either a chain smoker, or he's just never done cardio his entire life. He just jogs like maybe five steps, and he's like, ugh, and puffing away over here. No! <laughs> so I'm trying to understand the tells, you know, like when they're gonna show up. Apparently, when things are getting like a bit like weird in terms of the sound, there's a candle up there. Perfect. I'm gonna grab that one. That's when he's gonna probably drop from a tree, and then you gotta run. Now, I, I want to be able to get to the second hour to show you another new creature, because but every other hour, they're gonna introduce new creatures at you as well. That's not what I was hoping to do here. Pick this one up, my friend. We want to transfer the light first, and then we'll pick this up. Alrighty. There you go. We have two pieces of evidence. We're looking for at least one more if we want to find everything in this hour. And I can't really tell you what's going to dictate when the hour ends itself. It seems to be a little bit random at times. I know it doesn't have to do anything with the evidence. You could completely ignore the evidence and the hour will end. There's another candle here, thankfully. I'm going to probably hang around here. I'm going to say goodbye to that third piece of evidence. I just want to get through this hour, at the very least, for this video. Probably be dropping pretty soon. Of course. So, around this little candle... Not candle, but around this little, like, chimney area... <gasps> Is this it? Yes! Third piece of evidence. Perfect. We got all three of them. You hurt him, and I'll hurt you. You hurt him, and I will hurt you. That's pleasant. Now, we saw another candle here. Yes. Can we... There we go. Transfer the light. So now we have three pieces of evidence. If we could just survive this night, we have done amazing, as a matter of fact. My stamina is a bit low, though, so I gotta make sure it's gonna be ready for the next creep out moment here. Now, I'm not sure if there's any more drawings. I've only found those initial drawings in every single hour here, but um, the times that I've gone through this, I really haven't found many more. <laughs> Oop. You are supposed to drop from trees, my friend, not just show up suddenly behind me. Oh, okay. I really wanted to grab that candlelight, too. Oh, come on, hour. Let's just end already, huh? Let's stop messing around this much. There should be another candle coming up this way, though, so as long as I keep moving forward, we'll get to it. A little bit of an indication when the hour would end would be nice. I, I will admit that. Here we go. But at the same time, it does build a suspense when you're not sure when it's going to be safe. Oh, there it is. Oh, good God. Private property? Wait, someone actually lives up there? What are they, like a thousand years old? Here's two bucks for a new padlock. Can I go now? And that is essentially your friends being questioned as to what happened there. Uh, 1am. Archives reveal old pioneer signed within woods. Homestead burned down in 1924. Family listed as dead, but children's bodies never located. Field officer interviews local resident. News Archive 3 and Photograph 4 entered into evidence. And this will be the new introduction here of the new enemy. This is probably we're going to wrap it up more than likely. So we're going to pick this up here. We have six matches still. We haven't used any matches yet, I don't think, which is actually pretty good. Stay away from her. And you're going to definitely want to do that. Because we will probably run into her kind of soon. Now, with this hour, you're going to have the Skull Kid still after you, and this new creature is going to show up at some point or another as well. 
hear a dog barking off in the distance here. So you're still in the same area as you can see. This is where you got that one piece of evidence, but there's nothing in there now. Now, I do know where there is one evidence here in this hour, but that's the only one that I do know of. Everything else, I'm kind of, um, I usually end up getting killed here. No, don't see me. I, I prefer it if you didn't see me whatsoever. No candle up here this time. So the, the, the items do get moved. What the hell? That's a baby carriage. Not a baby carriage, but a cradle. We have some sort of, like, leg. I'd rather you don't sing that. No, 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 I don't want to fall dead. You fall dead. Okay. Um, I'm actually quite low on a candle here, and I'm not finding a backup whatsoever. Is that a sofa? It is a sofa. A couch, I guess. Sofa, couch, same thing. Candle. Okay, here we go. Transfer light. Alrighty. We're still in this. Still haven't seen this new critter that we're talking about. Oh, and this will also introduce like some sort of like weird... I can't even describe it. But, like some sort of like hallucinatory effect. We might see it happen. That's her. That's her right there. Stay away from her, it's said. Yeah, I don't think we should go in there. Don't think we should go in there whatsoever. Luckily, she spawned inside that little shack, so I guess she can't chase me if she's in there, which is actually pretty good. Now, is she gone from there? If she is, we can just probably grab that candle now. Tell me you're gone. There's also... Oh, good. A noose. That's pleasant. Let's transfer this light over. The wind's getting kind of crazy outside, too. Anything in here? No? Okay. Yeah, I'm running blind at this point. I have no idea what to do from this point other than just surviving the hour. Some bushes. What is that? How was he? <sighs> Stop it. Oh, this is pleasant. Nothing like an old cemetery out here. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Can we see the name? Never forgotten. Yeah, you can say that again. Wreck. Wreck. said that. That was in Latin, I think. Oh, uh, fudge me. That's kind of got to be a little girl. Got a run. Oh, candle. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, she's right there. No! I was away from you. You were, you had your back to me. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, before we wrap it up, let's go find out what the findings that we acquired here are going to be all about. Just to show you how some of the story comes together here. So with the drawings, we can just check these out closely. Not a big deal here. But we want to go into evidence and collection. I don't know. I knew he wanted to scare us, but it felt too real. Like someone or something was watching us. I just didn't want anyone to get hurt. What's the big deal? It's just an old camp game. Uh... Am I actually under arrest for something? Of course I know all the old stories. My uncle said that fire was no accident. Knew the family. Went to camp with that boy, Benny. Always preaching about twin brothers stolen in their sleep by the devil. Sure, they was coming back for him. Touched by God, his mama always said. <laughs> But what's that got to do with you waking me up at this godforsaken hour? Cause some little shit's busted up my fence again? Only 19 days after the tragic fire that killed a local man and his wife, police have officially called off the search for their missing children. The church plans to continue its vigil in the hopes of a safe return for all. <laughs> 
Alrighty. And basically, this right here is um collected based on all the things that you collect over here. So if you want to get more of the story, you obviously have to find all the items with every single hour that passes by. But there you guys have it. It's going to be Wick right here. Really, really fun game. The story is what's really actually interesting about it as well. And again, the horror is done in a way where it's kind of suspenseful, not just relying on cheap scares. But there you go, Wick. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. It supports me a lot. If you enjoyed the game, description below should have a link to the Steam page if you want to check it out for yourself. I will catch you next time.